is smashing records nationwide. That's right, and several states are now on pace to exceed their 2016 turnout totals. Hawaii has already done it. Perhaps that's not surprising. They do all their voting by mail in Hawaii, but Texas is a far bigger surprise. Already, as possibly as soon as tomorrow, they could exceed their 2016 turnout with 8.2 million votes already cast. 82% of the 2016 total is in already in Georgia, 81% in North Carolina. All of this a reminder, we are on the verge potentially of the biggest turnout for an American presidential election in more than 100 years. Well, well as a Texas girl, it doesn't surprise me that Texas is going big. Thank you, Ed O'Keefe. Yeah. France is more than doubling the number of troops on patrol and raising its security alert to its highest level after a suspected terrorist attack left three people dead in the southern city of Nice. CBS's MTS Tayeb reports tonight from Paris. France is on edge tonight. The target, the inside of a Catholic church, where three people were stabbed to death. Investigators say one victim was virtually beheaded. The attacker, a 21-year-old Tunisian national, was shot and is in police custody. President Emmanuel Macron rushed to the area. An attack telling reporters France is under attack by Islamist terror and sharply increasing the number of troops on the streets to 7,000. This is a nation already tense after a series of violent attacks, all in a matter of weeks and all connected to the published cartoons depicting the Prophet Muhammad, considered blasphemous by Muslims. Macron's defense of the images as an extension of France's secular traditions has sparked outrage across several Muslim countries to accuse him of pursuing an anti-Islam agenda for political gain. Tonight, the streets of Paris are almost empty as France goes back into a strict month-long COVID-19 lockdown, with many here hoping it'll also put a stop to any further attacks. Nora. MTS Tayeb, thank you. The CBS Overnight News will be right back.